Hey coach, so obviously two days help right now, but with a new team, your system being in place, how tough is it to get everything implemented in training camp when during the season is only like 22, 25 practices all season long? It's difficult just because you don't have the exhibition games to, to work on something in a real game situation and then bounce back and, and be able to practice. Everything we're doing now is from a practice situation with only two exhibition games. So, um, we wish you would have more exhibition games just to uh, have a game-like situation to work on your schemes and work on your offensive system. But um, it is what it is. We've got to make it work. The guys have responded. Luckily, we have two uh, exhibition games where we can do that. So you're coming from a franchise that won a championship. What about coming to Toronto caught your interest and just made it made a big challenge for you? Why Toronto of all places? Well, first of all, the core. You know, Brian has done a good job of putting together a good young core of talent. You have Jay Bagnani, you have DeMar DeRozan, who is a two talented, two of the best young talents in the NBA. That was very intriguing to me. And the fact that they have the offensive skills to be 14th or 15th in the league, all we have to do which made it a good fit for me was to, to execute on the defense again. So that made it intriguing to me. We had a good core group, great character guys, and we're building. It's a process that I enjoy doing, I enjoy teaching. And uh, so that's, that's what intrigued me with the Toronto situation. All right. Over the past few years, I've noticed a lot of teams have gone from a 5, 4, 3, 2, and a 1 to having two bigs, two wings, and a point. Do you go the old school style with set positions, or do you, when you're doing a lineup, do you go with two bigs, two wings, and a point guard? I think you have to go with what we have in your in the I mean, We have, uh, luckily, we have the two bigs, um, Powell Ford, one of the top power forwards in the world, and Andrea. So we can go the traditional way with the big beside him that we don't have to put Andrea at the four position. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'll go with more of a traditional lineup route. Who that will be in the school. Yeah, that's what we're going to work through for the Boston game and kind of go through it next week and get our nine-man game. Great. Thank you much, Lee.